as a mixed culture couple, you guys wonder what kind of food we eat normal day. Or uh, he's away um, for four days, four nights, and I'm quite both happy and sad because happy is because I get to eat a lot more food that I don't usually cook when he's around. And today I'm planning to make a lunch and dinner at the same time so that I could do something else in the rest of the day. So, uh, so I have this masutake which I defrost. These are frozen one. And I'm going to just uh, make a simple stew with this. Uh, and then I have this, um, we call it the Sichuan chai. So this is what my mom used to cook when I was little. So I really miss her cooking. So this fortunately is available in the supermarket at the Asian store. So I'm going to try making this. And I also bought some, um, this is called salted egg. We have them in um, the Asian supermarket. So this is just for warming up. It's already been boiling and it's very expensive. It's like 70 crown for just six pieces. So literally one is like 10 crown. Also, I have this beef that I defrost. Most of the food here uh, I bought. Um, in fact, all my prepper food, I start to eat them already. Meat, you cannot keep for too long in the freezer. Uh, a lot of Swedish people tell me, oh, you can keep for years, but then, you know, it all depends on what kind of meat. But I won't want to keep it for years because I think if you keep it for years, you know, it, it's not fresh anymore. I mean, even though it's not fresh anymore, but then keep it for years. Hello? <laughs> so, these are the typical kind of food that I eat when LG is not allowed around because I find that it's a waste of food because like for example this egg is very expensive so and then he don't know how to appreciate it so the same with this you know I have I think I've tried to make some other pickle food so he was not like impressed he prefer his salad you know like without uh, any dressing at all if you eat like pak choy and all that, he's like, he feel like it's so strange because pak choy is very green, right? So green should be eaten fresh. So sweet, they like to eat vegetable fresh when possible. Dessert, he's very selective, especially Asian dessert, which is very unusual. Most of our dessert, we use bean. Uh, for him, bean is like food. Uh, so, uh, as a carbohydrate so usually when I make them I'll just eat most of it myself and this is the bean ice cream that I make myself it's cheap and easy to make let me show you how boil some bean in a pressure cooker if you don't have a cane sugar you can also use normal sugar I like it sweet so I'm gonna put four Select the bean button and I cook them for 30 minutes using the pressure cooker. Of course, you can also use a normal cooker. After 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. You can serve them hot or like me, make them into ice cream. For a big pot like that, I could make at least 50 of this. Summer is around the corner, so this might be a cheap alternative for ice cream. The difference between Swedish and Chinese cooking. We Chinese, we like to use a lot of garlic, ginger and fresh herbs. Whereas the sweet, they like to use those powdered one. Lucky me, I could find Asian vegetables at the Asian market. And of course, most of these uh, vegetables, they are imported, so in terms of price-wise, they are much more expensive. So I don't eat them every day, maybe just once or twice a week. Making Asian food are more costly in Sweden compared to Singapore because we totally rely on imports. At first, LG didn't like tofu because he find that it is quite tasteless. I agree to that. With tofu, you really need to flavor it. 
Recently, a lot of sweet became vegetarian, so you can f easily find tofu in the supermarket. Now the prep are done, let's get down to cooking. I usually cook according to my feelings. I don't really follow recipes, so I just use whatever I have in my kitchen. This way, I will not spend money unnecessarily. Like all these greens, Pak Choi, I got it for free at the Asian supermarket yesterday. The boss gave it to me because I'm their regular customer and I usually spend quite a lot within the month. I also realized that there has been quite a number of sweet wandering around at the Asian supermarket. Maybe they were thinking I could get some cheap food here, but they were disappointed because food are actually much more expensive imported than those local produced Swedish food. At home, I'm the one who paid and take care of all the food. And since food has become more and more expensive, I really need to be creative. Lucky LG is not the type that are really picky. In actual fact, I'm the one who are picky. Actually, Asian food are more troublesome to make compared to Swedish food. With a Chinese man, he would expect Asian food every day. But with Swedish man, I can be lazy sometimes by cooking Swedish food. I'm a person who likes to feed people. Feeding others is like a therapy for me. But sometimes cooking every day can be quite tiring too. So we'll try to go out when the day I don't feel like cooking or am too tired to cook. But here in Shalafia, we don't have so much of a choice. The restaurants are closing one by one every month. Food are expensive and they are not really that uh, up to my expectations. Most Chinese restaurants here in Sweden, they serve almost the same food. It seems like they copy each other's menu. On top of that, Asian restaurant usually has a very different taste compared to in Asia. All the flavors are catered to the Swedish people because most Swedish people, they don't really have exposed to the Asian culture. So you can't blame them for lacking of uh, authentic flavors experience. This is salted egg. This is something LG will not eat and also this fermented tofu but I love them and usually to eat with that I serve them with kongi kongi is like a base uh, rice that you eat them with small dishes in Singapore we eat this when we are sick when we don't have appetite to eat so food have to look appetizing after about 30 minutes I clear everything I prep and I cook. It took me about 30 minutes. But then again, the rice, I cheated. I use a crock pot, a pressure cooker to cook. So it saves time and also energy. Maybe it's not a bad idea to invest in one machine like that. Anyway, I'm going to start eating and I cannot wait. I know it's a little bit cold, but I'm used to it now. Nay, Siri, go I have to put this one. I actually took out a fish, so I'm going to put it back because it's too much food. I can serve that to LG when he comes back. <laughs> he, he doesn't like that, but you know, you have to train them to eat the food that uh, they don't like. Um, that's the same thing I do to my daughter too. When she was young, I gave her the food. Uh, my Asian food so she's used to eating that so it's not a big problem but sometimes she can be quite picky so I tell her this is the only food we got and you either eat it or you go hungry so the same with LG I said you know some of the food I cannot always compromise you you have to adapt to my way of cooking and since he doesn't cook I thought he has to eat everything that I cook 
and of course he missed his Swedish food so I told him you know if you feel like you miss your Swedish food go ahead and buy them and but then you cook them yourself because I <laughs> not in, I'm not into cooking Swedish food this to me is brunch and then it is enough for me for breakfast and even tomorrow lunch and Siri look at Siri <laughs> Siri go ne go ne sit her come come sit her Siri sit her now I'm gonna enjoy my food uh, and I hope to see you in my next. Bye bye. Mm. Mm. My baby. Mm. She want to go out. Mm. Okay. I'll let you go out. Come, let's go. Come.